Hello and welcome to LearnGermanGames.com where you watch a let's play with a twist. So you learn German with me while playing a game. And to help you follow along, there's subtitles both in German and English. And I'll also be explaining the German grammar as well as the words to help you improve your German. Knowing that, let's start. So we're playing this game called Broken Age. Last time we got uh, on the clouds. Yeah. We're walking on clouds very nice here and we talked to this uh, lady here selling uh, cloud shoes Vulcan shoe, uh, to help us walk on clouds well, last time if you remember we uh, scared her a bit and she dropped her knife so hopefully this time we're gonna help her get back uh, some kind of knife so let's get to it hmm wir suchen also ein messer so we're looking for a knife. Uh, we have to be careful not to... Bist du ein Freund von Jesse? Yeah, we have to be careful not to walk on clouds. So we don't fall. Ach, nein, 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 nein. Hi, ich bin Mag. Äh, Maggie. Ja, ja, ja. What? Wie heißt du? Hmm. <laughs> Hey, was ist los? Ach, nichts. Wie war noch mal dein Name? Maggie. Also Maggie, nur ohne das A. Die Idee von meinem Papa. Alright, let's explain. Bist du ein Freund von Jesse? Are you a friend of Jesse's? Notice how in German you say von, yeah, instead of of. So it's like saying from. And the B is pronounced like an F if you're a beginner, or some people are advanced and still pronounce it wrong. Don't be lazy with that. Work on your pronunciation. Yeah. Vulcan shoe. This is the sign we see on top of uh, the shop here. Cloud shoes. Ich bin Mag Maggie. I'm Mag Maggie. Wie heißt du? What's your name? Or literally, how are you called? Heißen. Hey, was ist los? Hey, what's going on? Ah, nichts, nothing. She sighs. Nichts with an S, yeah, not nicht, which means nothing. Wie war nochmal dein Name? What was your name again? Mickey, also Maggie, nur ohne das A. Läuft's, so sigh. Die Idee von meinem Papa. Notice all the colors here. Whenever you have a purple, it means it's the accusative case. If you don't know what that case is, it's basically the direct object. And if you don't know what the direct object is, that's okay. Just keep noticing those colors. You'll get a feel of it with time. So keep watching. It's not as hard as you think. Whenever you see a line under a word or a preposition like that, it means it always has that case after it. So it's going to help you remember it. So just always remember, owner comes... Uh, with accusative, so accusative, and fun comes with dative. Yeah. Maggie, also, also normally remember that also in German means so. It does not mean also. That's a false friend. Be careful with that. So, Maggie. Yeah, also, Maggie. Nur ohne das A. Without the A. Idee von meinem Dad. My dad's idea. Was für eine schreckliche Idee. Stört es dich nicht, dass dein Papa das A aus deinem Namen gestrichen hat? Das schon, aber mein Papa sagt immer, dass es besser ist, ein A zu verlieren als ein C. <lacht> hm, mein Papa ist echt witzig. Dein Papa ist echt witzig. Das war er, bevor er in diesen Kult eingetreten ist. Oh, Upsi, habe ich das etwa laut gesagt? Colin, bitteschön, stört es dich nicht? dass dein Papa das A aus deinem Namen gestrichen hat? Stört es dich nicht, dass dein Papa das A aus deinem Namen gestrichen hat? The key word here is uh, streichen. This is the key verb is to strike. Yeah. Uh, or in this case to cross out, to be more specific. So your dad 
removed, crossed out the A from your name. Ja? Stört es dich nicht stören, is to uh, disturb or to bother. Ja? Doesn't it bother you that your dad dropped the A from your name? Das schon, aber mein Papa sagt immer, dass es, äh, dass es besser ist, ein A zu verlieren als ein C. Ja, das ist lachen. Ja. Das schon, aber mein Papa sagt immer, dass es besser ist, ein A zu verlieren als ein C. Nervöses Lachen. Genau. Ja, das schon literally means that already. But in response to a question, it means yes, it does. Yeah, that's true. That may be, but aber mein Papa sagt immer, my dad always says, dass es besser ist. Notice how the verb goes here all the way to the end because of das. Yeah. Ein A zu verlieren, to lose, you can see it here in the vocabulary list, als ein C, nervöses Lachen. Nervous laughter, Lachen, you can see this is a word that's neuter, you can see it from the orange, because it has the ending hin, and this is why we have an ES here, this is why we say nervöses, yes, it's because of the neuter. Dein Papa ist echt witzig. Dein Papa ist echt wichtig. Witzig. Witzig. Funny. Wichtig means important. I don't think she's saying her <laughs> father is important. <laughs> Maybe he is, but he doesn't seem to be in this case. <laughs> das war's, bevor er in, deinen, in diesen Kult eingetreten ist. Das war er, bevor er in diesen Kult eingetreten ist. So eintreten literally means to enter, but in this case it means uh, to join. Yeah. To join a call, both of them work actually. So he was uh, funny before he joined the skull. Oh, oopsie, habe ich das etwa laut gesagt? Oh, oopsie, habe ich das etwa laut gesagt? Oops, did I say that out loud? Loud means out loud. And etwa doesn't have an S here. This is because it gives the question a bit of a wonderment, probabilistic feeling. It's like saying, is that what I actually said? I'm not so sure. This feeling comes from etwa. Dankeschön, Colleen. Dein Papa ist in einem Kult? Dein Papa ist in einem Kult? Ach, er betreibt es etwas mit seiner Lightbird-Verehrung. Aber das ist schon in Ordnung. Wenigstens hat er dafür sein Line-Dancing aufgegeben. Ja, wird bitteschön. Dein Papa ist in einem Kult? Dein Papa ist in einem Kult. In here takes the dative and Kult is masculine. This is why we have an M here. Einem Kult. Ach, er übertreibt es etwas mit seiner Leitbeard-Verirrung. Aber das ist schon in Ordnung. Ach, er übertreibt es etwas mit seiner Leitbeard-Verirrung. Aber das ist schon in Schon in Ordnung. Ordnung. <laughs> Now you missed the word. Happens to me all the time. So Lightbeard is basically uh, a cult leader on the clouds here. This is just a name. Yeah. So when she said Lightbeard Verehrung, that's the worship or um, let's say, let's, let me actually add that. This is an important word here. Verehrung. Let's say veneration. You can think of it that way. Or worship as well. So he does overdo it, übertreiben, a bit with his light beard worship, so he loves this cult leader a lot. But that's okay, das ist schon in Ordnung. Schon, again, it literally means again here, <laughs> but it doesn't have the meaning of again, it's just a way to, uh, to say that it's all right. Yeah, this is one of those words in German where it's often used either as an intensifier or to... Uh, Show some kind of feeling. It's hard to literally translate these things. This is why we learn in context, so you understand uh, the feeling without having to uh, verbalize it. Yeah. Wenigstens hat er dafür ein sein Line Dancing aufgegeben. Wenigstens, wenigstens hat er dafür sein Line Dancing aufgegeben. Notice here how the German verb, the conjugated one, the main clause is always in the second position. This is why the subject comes after the verb. 
the speaker wanted to start with at least because this is the most important part of what you wanted to say so this is why whenever we start with another word other other than um, the subject we have to follow it by the verb yeah so wenigstens hat er at least has he dafür gives the feeling of for that thing so he traded one thing for another thing yeah he he went into this cult and instead of um you know as an advantage he wants to mention he gave up his lines that line dancing so it's like a trade-off yeah so this staff here gives the sense of a trade-off so he did this on the other hand he did the other thing which is good yeah and the verb is aufgeben to give up separable verb this is why we have the ge here in the middle yeah to make the past participle if you're a beginner watching this, the GE in German is like the ED in English, yeah. Dankeschön, David. Und was genau ist deine Aufgabe? Was genau ist deine Aufgabe? Ich kümmere mich um diese Eier. Wenn ich nicht wäre, dann äh, könnten sie staubig werden oder so. Ja. Harry, bitteschön. Was genau ist deine Aufgabe? Harry, bist du da? Ach ja. Was genau ist deine Aufgabe? What's your job actually? A job not in the sense of employment, but more of a task. Ja, die Aufgabe. Ich kümmere mich um diese Eier. Ich kümmere mich um diese Eier. We have a reflexive verb here, sich kümmern. Ich kümmere mich. So, I take care myself, if you want to translate it literally. But if you're not used to these reflexive verbs, don't worry about them. Just remember them uh, as, as a pair. Ja, kümmere mich. It doesn't always have a literal meaning. It's just a tradition in certain kind of languages inherited from a long time ago, and it never went away. Certain words and verbs, I mean, I have a different meaning whenever they're reflexive or not. And some of them are just always reflexive. You just have to remember them, yeah? So I take care of those eggs. Wenn ich äh, nicht wäre, dann. Wenn ich nicht wäre, dann. Uh... So this is the conditional here. So if it weren't for me, then what would happen? Könnten sie staubig werden oder so? Könnten sie staubig werden oder so? So she's talking about the eggs. So without her, they could get dusty or something. So she's uh, self-deprecating here, uh, basically saying her duty is useless. She's just not dusting the egg. <laughs> Dankeschön, Harry. Also, wie kommst du zu den Eiern in die höher liegenden Nester? Wie komme ich zu den Eiern in den höher liegenden Nestern? Ach, du meinst, weil ich so klein bin? Nein, ich... <lacht> Ich zieh dich nur auf. Ich benutze eine Leiter. J, J, bitteschön. Wie komme ich zu den Eiern in den höher liegenden Nestern? Wie komme ich zu den Eiern in den höher liegenden Nestern? So, how do I get to? In German you say come to. Ja? Yeah? And then you have to always takes the data. You can see it underlined here. And whenever you have a plural after the data, you use the definite article den if you want to use a definite article. And plurals in dative always taken an. You can see it in green here. Zu den Eiern in den, also in actually is in the dative, in den höher liegenden Nestern. Yeah, and the higher a nest or high lying liegenden Nest. Ach, du meinst, weil ich so klein bin? Ach. Du meinst, weil ich so klein bin? Oh, you mean because I'm so small? Actually, klein can mean either small or short. That's a double meaning here. And because of weil, the conjugated verb goes all the way to the end. This is what we call a dependent clause. Yeah. Nein, ich, uh... Nein, ich, uh... No, I, uh... Ich zieh dich nur auf. Ich benutze eine Leiter. Ich zieh dich... Ich, äh, ich zieh dich nur auf. Ich benutze eine Leiter. Ja, yeah, so this is an expression here. Uh, 
see this now off. It means, it literally means it's to pull open, uh, but in this case, aufziehen means to tease. Yeah. So it's, in English, you'd say something like, I'm yanking your chain or something like that. This is very similar. Ich zieh dich nur auf, ich benutze eine Leiter. Notice the other thing, the verb Leiter here, there's a small mistake. It's not masculine, it's feminine. This is one of those words that has two genders and it changes in its meaning depending on the gender. In this case, it's feminine, die Leiter. You can see it from the E here. And this is why you know that she's talking about a ladder, not der Leiter, which is a leader. Yeah, so der Leiter is a leader, die Leiter is a ladder. Dankeschön, J.J. Hey, kann ich mir deine Leiter ausleihen? Hey, kann ich mir deine Leiter ausleihen? Hm, okay. Na sowas, die ist schon verdammt klein. Kleine Dinge können überraschend große Sachen vollbringen. Da hast du recht. Sie hat tatsächlich recht. Kimberly, bitteschön. Hey, kann ich mir deine Leiter ausleihen? Hey, kann ich mir deine Leiter ausleihen? Ausleihen is to borrow in this case. Uh, technically, you can remove the mir if you want, but it's often the case where it's used to imply that can I borrow it to me? Yeah, it just makes it a bit more friendly when you're speaking. So it's like in English, you would say, can I borrow myself a ladder? Yeah, it's similar to that. Think of it this way. So, hey, can I borrow a ladder? Hey, can ich mir deine Leiter ausleihen? While watching this, feel free to read with us. Yeah, if you try to read, you'll remember more. And if you feel that the sentences are too long, at least read some of the words because then you'll have a lot more chance to remember them. Hmm, okay. Hmm, okay. Na sowas, die ist schon verdammt klein. Na, sowas. Die ist schon verdammt klein. So, sowas literally means something like that. But in this case, it means, well, I'll be. She wasn't expecting this. Yeah, sowas. She got a ladder that's very short. It's already damn small. Das ist schon verdammt klein. Uh, so, also remember that the uh, little girl here before said that she was a bit uh, small. So, this is the joke here. Kleine Dinge, so the girl here is talking, uh, keep track of the color, by the way, to know who is talking. Kleine Dinge können überraschend große Sachen vollbringen. Kleine Dinge können überraschend, überraschend große Sachen vorbringen. Genau, so Überraschung is a surprise and überraschend, because this is an adverb here, so this is how you're doing the action, yeah? The adverb to the verb vollbringen. Think of vollbringen as vollbring, as in bringing something full circle, yeah, as in to accomplish it, yeah. So vollbringen is to accomplish. Little things can accomplish surprisingly big things. Obviously, she's implying the little girl that she can also be very useful, even though she's small, yeah. We have two words for things here. Ding, also das Ding, und die Sache. Also, the thing. You'll get a better, most, a lot of the times, these two words are interchangeable, uh, but you will get a feeling when you can use one or the other depending on the situation. Yeah. Da hast du recht. Da hast du recht. You're right about that. Notice how da does not have an S. Yeah. This means da as in there. There have you right, as in you're right about that, you're right about that, and that is in the beginning. That have you right. And again, here a small demonstration of the grammar rule. Whenever you have the main clause, the verb comes in second position. This is why we started with uh, da, and then we came to the verb right away, and then the subject came after the verb. Dankeschön, Kimberly, Susan, du bist. Hey, gibt's einen Weg runter von dieser Wolke? Hey, gibt's einen Weg runter von dieser Wolke? Wenn ich einen kennen würde, wäre ich nicht mehr hier. Wir hatten früher einen echt coolen Federlift, der bis ganz nach unten in den Wald ging. Aber Harmony hat den abgeschafft. 
Mhm. Susan, bitteschön. Hey, gibt's einen Weg runter von dieser Wolke? Hey, gibt's einen Weg runter von dieser Wolke? Also der Weg, Weg is masculine. This is why here we have an and. This is the accusative case. You can see it from the purple color. So gibt's, es gibt es, ja, is there any kind of way, Weg? Runter, runter means down. Yeah, literally it means a way down. On this context, it makes more sense to say way off. Yeah, as a translation. Von dieser Wolke, Wolke is feminine, but we have an R here because von always takes the dative case. Yeah. So, hey, is there a way off this cloud? Wenn ich einen kennen würde, wäre ich nicht mehr hier. Wenn ich einen kennen würde, wäre ich nicht mehr hier. So notice here one of the functions of genders in German and languages that have genders is that it's easier to keep track of what we're talking about. In this case, you can see that we are referring to a masculine noun, which makes it more clear to us that we are talking about the way, der Weg. Yeah? So if I knew one, but it's very obvious that she's talking about the way because we said einen. Just like we said in the previous sentence. Yeah? Wenn ich einen kennen würde, if I knew one, Wäre, here a more complex example of the rule of the second position of the verb, because the first part is all this dependent clause here. You can know that because of the comma. Yeah, the comma always helps you cut the sentence in logical parts. So if I knew one, I wouldn't still be here. Wäre ich, the object comes after, nicht mehr hier. I wouldn't be here anymore. Wir hatten früher einen echt coolen Federlift, der bis ganz oben, äh, ganz nach unten in den Wald ging. Wir hatten früher einen echt coolen Federlift, der bis ganz nach unten in den Wald ging. So obviously my subconscious wants to go up and not down. <laughs> so that's why I said oben. Uh, also unten obviously is below. We used to have really cool feather lifts. Yeah, there's a lot of birds and feathers here. Also feather, feather, and lift means lift or elevated. Der, so again with the referencing here, we know that an elevator is masculine. This is how we know that she's referring to the elevator because she used der here. Yeah, bis ganz nach unten, entirely to the bottom or below, in den Wald ging, through the woods or the forest, Notice here how N is taking the accusative because we are using a verb that has motion. Yeah, whenever you have the motion, N takes the accusative instead of the dative. So we used to have a really cool feather elevator that went all the way down into the woods. Aber Hamni hat den abgeschafft. Aber Hamni hat den abgeschafft. Also schaffen, generally on its own, means to uh, manage. Ab gives the prefix ab gives the feeling of away from something. When, so when you're managing something away, it means to do away with something to get away, to get rid of it. Yeah. So how many did away with that one? We got rid of the elevator. All right. Now we have added 27 words to the vocabulary list. Let's practice them. If you're watching this live with us, you can send me your answers in chat. The column on the left is German words we saw today. And the right are the equivalent translations in German. You can just send me the numbers. You don't have to write the whole word. If you're watching this later as a video, make sure to subscribe to Learn German Games so you can catch us next time. And make sure to ring that bell button. Yeah, whenever you click subscribe, you can see the bell. You have to click it. Click all as you can see below me here. So you can actually get a notification on your phone and not miss anything. Yeah, we have fun every week with that. Also fangen wir an, let's start. Streichen, cross out. Streichen, to cross out. Remember, whenever you have the S before a T, you have to pronounce it like a SH. Yeah, streichen, to cross out. Also, make sure whenever you have a CH after an I to keep your mouth open. If you're still having trouble with that, Check out the Learn German Games channel. There's a few short videos I made about that sound. 
hopefully they will help you remember how to say it. Die Verehrung, the veneration. Die Verehrung, the veneration. A feminine noun because it ends with ung. Yeah. Aufgeben, give up. Aufgeben, to give up something you should never do. Loud, loud. Loud, loud. Übertreiben. Yeah. To overdo. Overdo. Übertreiben, to overdo. Stören, to bother. Stören, to bother. Nervous. 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 Make sure not to ignore the umlaut. Yeah. Verlieren to lose. Verlieren to lose. Eintreten to enter. Eintreten to enter. Und das Lachen is a verb changed to a noun. That's why it's neuter. Yeah, the laughter. Same exercise now with short sentences. A lot of them we saw in the game, but some of them are just useful for you to learn. Yeah. Ich kümmere mich um diese Eier. I take care of those eggs. Ich kümmere mich um diese Eier. I take care of those eggs. Das ist langweilig. <laughs> That's boring. Das ist langweilig. Yeah, taking care of eggs is pretty boring. <laughs> I du was going to say, rest. Da hast du rest. Yeah. <laughs> You're right about that. Genau. <laughs> uh, da hast du recht. You're right about that. Hey, was ist aus? Hey, what's going on? Hey, was ist los? Hey, what's going on? So geht das nicht. That's not how it works. So geht das nicht. That's not how it works. I love how you're linking the sentences into some funny <laughs> conversation. Es sei denn. Unless. Es sei denn. Unless. Wie war nochmal dein Name? What was your name again? Samir. <laughs> <laughs> Was war noch mal dein Name? Genau, ist dein Aufgabe. What exactly is your job? Was genau ist deine Aufgabe? What exactly is your job? Dein Papa ist echt witzig. Lustig. Genau. <laughs> your dad is really funny. Dein Papa ist echt witzig. Your dad is really funny. Und? Ja, sie sehen zu ihr auf. Yes, they look up to her. Fill in the blanks. These are sentences we saw in the game. Hopefully you remember uh, what they said. Yeah, you just have to remember one word. Hey, gibt's einen etwas runter von dieser Wolke? Weg. Weg. So, is there a way of this cloud? Gibt es einen Weg runter von dieser Wolke? Könnten Sie etwas werden oder so? This is the little girl. Yeah, the little girl was saying this. She was continuing her sentence. They could get dusty or something. Staubig. <laughs> Kleine Dinge können überraschend große Sachen vollbringen. Genau, vollbringen. Little things can accomplish surprisingly big things. Ich zieh dich nur auf. Ich benutze eine Leiter. Genau, I'm just teasing you. Remember this expression? Ich zieh dich nur auf. I use a ladder. Was genau ist deine Aufgabe. Aufgabe. Genau. What exactly is your task or job? To cross out. Simple flashcards. What's the word for to cross out? We saw it today. 
Streichen. 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 Remember the S and the T. Yash. Streichen. To enter. Eintreten. Eintreten. The uh, noun for laughter. Das Lachen. Das Lachen. That emoji is living its best life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Loud. Loud sounds almost the same for the letter in the end. That's quite different. Nervous? Nervous. Nervous. In this case, the V is actually pronounced like a V. For some few words, it is like that. Nervous. To bother? Stören. Yeah. To lose? Verlieren. 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 To give up? Aufgeben. Aufgeben. The veneration. Die Verehrung. Die Verehrung. To overdo? To betreiben. Übertreiben, make sure to stretch your tongue all the way to the front. If anybody's having yeah. trouble pronouncing that, I also have a short video about that on the Learn German Games channel. Yeah. All right, ordering of words. These are also sentences we saw in the game. This send me or tell me the words in the proper order to form a sentence that makes sense. The one we've actually heard. Kleine Dinge können. Kleine Dinge können. Überraschend große Sachen vollbringen. Überraschend große Sachen vollbringen. Little things can accomplish surprisingly big things. Next Satz. Next sentence. Bist du ein Freund von Jesse? Bist du ein Freund von Jesse? Are you a friend of Jesse's? Nächster Satz. Dein Papa ist in einem Kult. Dein Papa ist in einem Kult? Be careful with the U here. It's pronounced Kult. like U, ja. Yeah? Like a cow says U. Nächster Satz. Wenn ich einen kämmen würde. Wäre ich nicht mehr gern. Sehr gut, sehr gut. Wenn ich einen kennen würde, wäre ich nicht mehr hier. I see you're starting to pay attention to the comma, so you know that the verb is coming next. If I knew one, I wouldn't still be here. Nächste Satz ist einfach eigentlich. Hey, was ist los? Genau, hey, was ist los? Hey, what's going on? Good job, everybody. Sehr gut gemacht. Und jetzt spielen wir weiter. Schön, schön, schön. Also, warum wurde der Federlift abgestellt? Warum wurde der Federlift abgestellt? Harmony hat entschieden, dass keiner einen Grund hat, den Ort hier zu verlassen. Hm. Colleen, bitte schön. Warum wurde der Federlift abgestellt? Warum wurde der Federlift abgestellt? So abstellen ist to put down, also put down to rest or to switch off, to turn off. Ja, yeah, let's put both meanings here, turn off. So why was the feather lift shut down or put out of business, put out of uh, service? Want? Hamni hat entschieden, dass keine, uh, dass keine einen Grund hat, den Ort hier zu verlassen. Hamni hat entschieden, dass keiner einen Grund hat, den Ort hier zu verlassen. Genau, entscheiden ist to decide. So Hamni decided. That, yeah, whenever you have that, which is das with a double S, the verb uh, goes all the way to the end, yeah? That nobody 
a reason has einen Grund. Der Grund is a reason. So nobody has a reason to leave this place. Den Ort hier zu verlassen. So the place here to leave. Verlassen. How many has decided that no one has a reason to leave this place? Hm. Vielleicht sollte ich äh, einfach springen. Vielleicht sollte ich einfach springen. Schon versucht, bringt nichts. Die Sturzvogelwachen fangen dich ab und bringen dich zurück. Du bräuchtest eine Leiter. Aber die müsste viel größer sein als meine. Ja, bitte, bitte schön. Vielleicht sollte ich einfach springen. Vielleicht sollte ich einfach springen. Maybe I should just jump. Einfach means easy, but in this case it also means just, ja. Yeah. And springen, just like stören, when the S comes before a P, it's pronounced like sh, ja, springen. Schon versucht, bringt nichts. Schon versucht, bringt nichts. Already tried, does not bring anything, also it does not amount to anything. Die Sturzvogelwachen fangen dich ab und bringen dich zurück. Die Sturzvogelwachen fangen dich ab und bringen dich zurück. So you can see a long word here. Don't be afraid from that. Sturz is a fall, also when somebody falls, ja. Yeah. Vogel is a bird and wachen is the plural of wache, a guard. So the fall bird guards, as in the birds guarding from people, uh, from falling, yeah. Everybody that falls is going to be caught and brought back. Abfangen, ja. Yeah. Abfangen is to catch or to cushion somebody's fall. Und zurückbringen is to bring back, ja. Yeah. So the fall bird guards will catch you and bring you back. We could actually try that and see how it happens. Du bräuchtest eine Leiter, aber die müsste viel größer sein als meine. Du bräuchtest eine Leiter, aber die müsste viel größer sein als meine. Careful with the pronunciation of T and D. They're quite close in terms of mouth position, yeah. Uh, uh, because leider means unfortunately, yeah, it's very important to say leiter, leiter. Uh, notice also the conjugation of bräuchtest. In English, you would say I would need to make it conditional. In German, you just change the conjugation and say du bräuchtest, yeah. It's similar to the conjugation of möchte. So you would need a ladder, ein leiter, aber die. It's because light in this case is masculine. Ignore the color uh, because light has two genders. Yeah, in this case it's uh, feminine. Die müsste, so again here we have a different conjugation which is the condition because it would have to be a lot bigger, viel größer als meine. And mine ends with an E because again we are referring to the latter which is feminine in this case. Lightbeard meint das mit der Leichtigkeit ernst. Lightbeard meint das mit der Leichtigkeit echt ernst, wie? Oh ja, die Leute sagen, dass er nur Federn ist. Wirk. Das ist aber nicht wahr. Zum Glück. Er leckt die Federn nur ab. Wow. Dieses Spiel ist verrückt. Harry, bitteschön. Lightbeard meint das mit der Leichtigkeit ernst. Echt ernst, wie? Lightbeard meint das mit der Le Leichtigkeit echt ernst, wie? Lightbeard is just the name of the cult leader, ja? Yeah? And meint is the verb meinen, to mean, as in he means it, ja? Yeah? Does the thing with the lightness, he has this philosophy of lightness, echt ernst, really seriously. Wie literally means how, but it's similar to saying oder. It's like, um, huh? yeah. Lightbeard is really serious about lightness, isn't he? Yeah, wie. As in how serious, like a lot. Oh ja, die Leute sagen, dass er nur Federn ist. Oh ja, die Leute sagen, dass es er nur Federn ist. 
the feather means feather it could also mean a spring but in this case we can we can see feathers all over the place so we know she means feathers also be careful with the verb to eat here ist there's the double s this is the conjugation of the verb to eat it's not the verb to be this is not sein yeah when you hear the sentence you have to know from context that she means to eat and not that he is feathers yeah people say that he only eats feathers Again, with das uh, moves the uh, verb until the very end, yeah? Die Leute sagen, dass er nur Federn ist. People say that he only eats feathers. Wirk. Look. Wirk. Das ist aber nicht wahr. Das ist aber nicht wahr. But that is not true. Zum Glück. Zum Glück. Fortunately, literally, to... The lock. Remember that zum stands for zu dem, to the lock. As in luckily, fortunately. Er leckt die Federn nur ab. Er leckt die Federn nur ab. He only licks off the feathers. Ablecken is to lick off or to lick clean. Yeah. Wah. Wow. Wah. Wow. Ekelhaft. Hm. Was für ein Vogel legt denn diese goldenen Eier? Was für ein Vogel legt denn diese goldenen Eier? Ach, die? Das sind Ersatzeier. Wir machen die für die senilen alten Möwen, die immer vergessen, dass sie keine Eier haben. <lacht> Wie seltsam. JJ, bitteschön. Was für ein Vogel legt denn diese goldenen Eier? Was für ein Vogel legt denn diese goldenen Eier? Remember these three words. Was für ein means what kind of, yeah, what kind of bird lays, legt denn diese goldenen Eier? Then doesn't really have any meaning. Yeah, it just adds this, uh, this feeling of uh, she's not really sure. Yeah. What kind of bird Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Is was für... Fear, isn't that for accusative and if vocal yeah. is masked? But, um, that's true, that's true. But generally, uh, not generally actually, was für is considered its own grammatical construct. It has nothing to do with für. Yeah. So uh, so just remember that whenever you say you see was für, it doesn't, it's not really part of, uh, of the sentence. So consider ein Vogel as the subject because the Vogel, the third, is laying the eggs. And so that is why this is actually the nominative case. Thank you for the question. Okay, so, thank you um, for explaining. <laughs> yeah, so what kind of bird lays eggs? The bird is still the one laying the eggs. Yeah, what kind doesn't really play a role in terms of changing uh, the declension. Uh, yeah, these are gelegten Eier. So what kind of bird lays these golden eggs? Ach, die. Referring to the eggs. Yeah, these ones. Das sind Ersatzeier. Ach, die. Das sind Ersatzeier. Be careful not to um, link these. Yeah? Ersatzeier. Ersatzeier. These are replacement eggs. Wir machen die für die senilen alten Möwen, die immer vergessen, dass sie keine Eier haben. Wir machen die für die, die senilen alten Möwen, die immer vergessen, dass sie keine Eier haben. Wir machen die, the first die is referring to the eggs. Yeah, they're talking about the eggs. Ja, die, the second die is talking about the uh, seagulls, yeah, the Möwen. Für die senilen alten Möwen, for the senile old seagulls, die Emma from context you see here that D is talking about the seagulls, yeah, that always forget, die immer vergessen, dass sie Eier, dass sie keine Eier haben, that they don't have any eggs. Or literally, that they, sie, no eggs have. The verb again is at the end because of das with the double S. We make these, as in these eggs, for the senile old seagulls who always forget they have no eggs. 
Warum sind die aus Gold? Warum sind die aus Gold? Das ist das schwerste Material, das wir haben. Die müssen schwer sein, damit die Möwen die nicht einfach wegtragen können und sie dann verlieren. Ach ja, natürlich. Also, warum, ha warum sind die aus Gold? Kimberly, bitteschön. Warum sind die aus Gold? Why are they made of gold? In German, why are they out gold? Yeah, it's just implied when you say out something, out the material, it means from it, yeah, made of it. Literally, why are they out gold? Yeah, just remember that. Why are they made of gold? Warum sind die aus gold? Das ist das schwerste Material, das wir haben. Das ist das schwerste Material, das wir haben. So schwer means heavy or difficult. In this uh, context, you know, it means heavy. And we add an ST because we mean the heaviest, ja, schwerste Material. Make sure to pronounce it like the German A with an open A. Open your mouth wide, don't say material. Yeah, it's very different uh, pronunciation. Just make sure you open your mouth twice. Material, but the second A is a bit longer. So stretch it a bit. Material. Das ist das schwerste Material, das wir haben. This is the heaviest material we have. Die müssen schwer sein, damit die Möwen die nicht einfach wegtragen können und sie dann verlieren. Die müssen schwer sein, damit die Möwen die nicht einfach wegtragen können und sie dann verlieren. Genau, be careful with the A here, there is no umlaut, wegtragen. So again we're talking about the eggs, die müssen, and because we started um, with the accusative, we started with the uh, direct object, we have to continue with the verb. Remember that the main clause in German, the verb goes in the second position. This is why uh, we have müssen here. Die müssen schwer sein, so they have to be heavy. Damit die Möwen, die nicht einfach wegtragen können. Wegtragen is to carry away and können. The conjugated verb is all the way to the end because of damit. And if you're wondering, hey Samir, we're not going, or we're not at the end yet. This is because und isn't really considered part of the sentence. It's actually, um, it's linking two sentences. So you can consider this part to be the end of the first sentence and then you have this second part yeah just think of it this way as a kind of link sie dann und sie dann verlieren uh, which they then lose so they have to be heavy so the seagulls can't just carry them away and then lose them interessant hey uh, schicke wolkenschuhe hey schicke wolkenschuhe Ach, meine mama hat die für mich gemacht alle anderen Teenager haben coole Magenwolkenschuhe und ich krieg nur selber gebastelte. Oh, aber verrat dir nicht, dass ich das gesagt habe. Das Schuhmacherhandwerk ist ihr einziger Rückhalt. Dann lasse ich dich mal allein. Okay. Ach, die Arme. Hey, schicke Wolkenschuhe. Susan, bitteschön. Hey, schicke Wolkenschuhe. Be careful with the adjective here, schick. It's not the verb schicken, it just means stylish or schick. Yeah. Hey, a stylish cloud shoes, nice shoes. Ach, meine Mama hat die für mich gemacht. Ach, meine Mama hat die für mich gemacht. Ach, my mom made these for me. Notice here how the conjugated verb is still in the second position. I keep saying conjugated. Yeah, because this is the conjugated verb hat. Gemacht, which contains more meaning, is just a past participle. This is why it goes to the end. Alle anderen Teenager haben coole Markenwolkenschuhe und ich kriege nur selbst, äh, selber gebastelte. Alle anderen Teenager haben coole Markenwolkenschuhe und ich kriege nur selber gebastelte. Bestellte. Genau. 
Regen is to uh, receive. Ja. Krieg is a formal way to say bekommen. Ich kriege. All other teenagers, alle anderen, you can see from the E here, that we're referring to more than one teenager, and the plural of teenager is the same as the singular. This is why we have to rely on the E here of alle to know that we're talking about uh, more than one. Also, from the, not, from the meaning, you can know she's saying all, so obviously it's more than one. Alle anderen teenager haben coole Marken. Eine Marke is a brand, yeah. The N just makes it plural. Wolke is a cloud, Wolken is the plural, so brand, um, a cloud, shoes, yeah, Marken, Wolken, Schuhe, und ich krieg, generally, uh, in German, a lot of the times, whenever you have a verb, especially when you pronounce it, when you're conjugated with ich, you drop the e at the end, so technically it should be ich kriege, but you rarely hear a German say that, except in formal situations. Ich krieg nur selbst gebastelte. The main verb here is basteln, which is to make some things with one's hands. Yeah, to craft, to make craft. So self-crafted or homemade. So all the other teenagers have cool brand cloud shoes and I only get homemade ones. Oh, aber verrat er nicht, dass ich das gesagt habe. Oh, aber verrat er nicht. Dass ich das gesagt habe. Be careful with the B, pronounce it like an F. Ja, verrat. Verraten means uh, to reveal, in this case, or to tell, even though it literally means to betray, as in don't betray a secret. Yeah. Don't tell her I said that. Again, with the dust that has double S, the conjugated verb goes all the way to the end. The past participle goes just before it, in case you need it. Das Schuhmacherhandwerk ist ihr einziger Rückhalt. Das Schuhmacherhandwerk ist ihr einziger Rückhalt. So literally, Schuhmaker and the work is her only support. So the Schuhmaker's trade is um, her actually in this case. It doesn't, she doesn't mean there, she means her. Dann lass ich dich mal allein. Dann lass ich dich mal allein. Literally, I'll leave you alone, but the implication is, I'll leave you to it, as in I'll leave you to do what you were doing already. So it's okay. Okay. <laughs> genau. <laughs> All right, let's practice a little bit. Uh, match the words on the left with the one on the right. If you're watching live with us, you can just send me the numbers on the left corresponding to the ones on the right. Übertreiben, to overdo. Übertreiben. Übertreiben. <laughs> Make sure to emphasize the second part. You can see it here from the dashes. Yeah, übertreiben, because this is not a separate verb. Eintreten, to enter. Eintreten, to enter. Das Lachen, the laughter. Das Lachen, the laughter. Loud. Loud. <laughs> loud, sei nicht so laut. <laughs> Streichen, cross out. Streichen, to cross out. Nervous, nervous. Nervous, nervous. Verlieren, Die, to lose. Verlieren, to lose. Die Verehrung, the veneration. Die Verehrung, the veneration. Stören, bother. Stören, to bother. Und aufgeben, to give up. Same exercise now with short sentences. Yeah. Bring bring Do not bring anything. Does not bring anything. And I'll bring nichts. Um does not bring anything. Viva Nakmal Dynama. What is your name again? Wie war nochmal dein Name? 
Oh, what was your name again? Sean Versucht already. Sean Versucht already tried. Sean Versucht already tried. And Linda and Church says 10, 18, 10, 18. Da hast du recht. <laughs> Um, Was genau ist deine you're Aufgabe? Right about that. Ja, David, was genau ist deine Aufgabe? Uh, what exactly is your job? Gute Frage. Ich kümmere mich um diese Eier. I take care of these eggs. Ich kümmere mich um diese Eier. I take care of those eggs. Hey, uh, was ist hey, los? Hey, what's going on? Sorry. <laughs> hey, was ist los? Hey, was ist los? Why are these made of gold? Warum sind die aus Gold? Why are they made of gold? Vielleicht sollte ich einfach springen. Maybe I should just jump. Nein, bitte nicht. <laughs> <laughs> Vielleicht sollte ich einfach springen. Maybe I should just jump. Und warum wurde der Feder lift? Abgestellt. Why was the feather elevator shut down? Fill in the blanks. Das ist das etwas Material, das wir haben. Schwerste. Schwerste. This is the heaviest material we have. Ich etwas, dich nur etwas. Ich benutze eine Leiter. Ich ziehe nur, dich nur auf. Ich ziehe dich nur auf. Ich benutze eine Leiter. I'm just teasing you. I use a ladder. Kleine Dinge können etwas große Sachen vollbringen. Überraschende. Without E, because this is not an adjective, this is an adverb. We are saying how things can... Uh, accomplish. Uh. Yeah, the D gives you the clue. Little things can accomplish surprisingly big things. Was genau ist deine Aufgabe? Aufgabe. What exactly is your job? Die müssen schwer sein, damit die Möwen, die nicht einfach etwas können und sie dann verlieren. Wegtragen. Sehr gut. Wegtragen. To carry away. They have to be heavy so the seagulls can just carry them away and then lose them. To lose. How do you say to lose in German? Verlieren. Verlieren. Loud? Loud. Loud. Nervous? Nervous. Nervous. To cross out. Streichen. Streichen. Keep your mouth open on the CH. To give up. Escaping. Aufgeben with an F. Yeah. Aufgeben. Very important so you don't change the meaning completely. Uh -huh. Bother. <laughs> Stören. Stören. The laughter. Lachen. Das Lachen. To overdo. Übertreiben. Übertreiben. The veneration. Die Verehrung. Die Verehrung. <lacht> Eintreten. Eintreten. To enter. To join. Word order. What's the first word in this sentence? Bist. Bist. Bist du ein Freund, ein Freund? Bist du ein Freund von Jesse? Are you a friend of Jesse's? Nächster Satz. Was ist? Genau deine Aufgabe. Was genau ist deine Aufgabe? Genau. Was genau ist deine Aufgabe? What exactly is your job? 
Next is up. Dein Papa ist, ist in einem Kult. Dein Papa ist in einem Kult. Your dad is in a cult. Nächster Satz. Wie war nochmal dein Name? Wie war nochmal dein Name? What was your name again? Nächster Satz. Hey. Gibt's einen Weg uh, runter von dieser Wolke? Hey, gibt's einen Weg runter von dieser Wolke? Hey, is there a way off this cloud? Sehr gut gemacht. And that was our game for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like this video. We're still a small channel. Every like helps. And also, if you know anybody that's learning German that might benefit from this, share it with them. And remember, of course, to subscribe and come watch us live. Participate in the set. It's a lot more fun. You learn a lot more that way.